Greetings to all my viewers and subscribers. Guys, thank you for coming back to watch my video, subscribing to my channel. I really don't take you for granted. So let's get into the video now. Three-year-old boy and father perish in St. Catherine House fire. A three-year-old boy and his father died from injuries they sustained in a fire at their home in Wallen Park, Westmoreland, St. Catherine, on Tuesday night. The toddler, identified as Cleon Williams, died last night while his father, 40-year-old Sherman, succumbed to his injuries on Wednesday. Reports from the Waterford Police are that about 11.40 p.m. residents of fire coming from a section of the house and alerted the police and the fire department. Commander of the St. Catherine Fire Brigade, Superintendent Dennis Lyons, told the news that when the firefighters arrived on the scene, the four-bedroom dwelling was found engulfed in flames. During the cooling down operation, William's charred remains were found among the debris. In Old Harbor person of interest killed in alleged confrontation with police. A man was reportedly a person of interest in a case of murder, was shot and killed after he allegedly challenged a police party in Old Harbor St. Catherine on Wednesday morning. He has been identified as Daniel Farkinson, otherwise called Fry Eye, 26-year-old of Scuba Gardens, Old Harbor. It is reported that about 6 a.m., a police team from the St. Catherine South Division went to Scuba Gardens on a targeted raid. Farkinson allegedly fired on the police from a house. He was challenged by the police and was hit. The police say he was found clutching a Glock pistol, which was loaded with several rounds. A further research resulted in the alleged seize of a .22 revolver and 22 rounds of ammunition. Farkinson and a woman who was also in the house and suffered a gunshot injury to the leg during the incident were taken to hospital where Farkinson died and the woman was admitted. The Independent Commission of Investigation has launched a probe into the matter. Gunmen down in home, murderers spear children, including six-month-old. Before mercilessly pumping bullet into the bodies of four adults inside a house, in crawl bug walks in Catherine early yesterday morning, the gunmen reportedly ensured that a six-month-old baby was carefully wrapped in a blanket and equipped with diapers and formula before placing him onto a stroller with four other children. They then went inside the dwelling and shot to death Dorothy Higgins and her daughter Carrie Ann Higgins MacArth, as well as their helper Diane Johnson and her spouse Kevin. Standing among a group of onlookers, a tearful Karenisha Morrison, the Member of Parliament for St. Catherine North East, in which the community is located, described the scene as a horror movie. We are told that five children were in the house, and we were also told that the gunmen actually put the baby in the stroller, put feeding in the stroller, put diaper in the stroller, and tell the rest of the children to get their clothes and to get out of the house. This is the stuff that horror movies are made of. Morrison said. Reports are that minutes after 2 a.m. residents heard explosions and notified the police. Upon the lawmen's arrival, the bodies of three females and a male was discovered with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. The Higgins have lived in the quiet farming district all of their lives, while Johnson and her spouse are from Friendship Portland. Their bodies were found on their bed, while the Higgins were found in separate rooms in the house. Guys, thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.